So uh, I'm trained with Sonic Magazine here at Broadside. So uh, introduce yourselves and what y'all do real quick. Uh, my name's Ollie and I sing in the band. All right. My name's Dorian. I play guitar and sing in the band. All right. So our second time with you guys. If you guys remember, we talked uh, to these guys at Warped Tour last year okay. here in Charlotte. So um, what you guys been up to since then and everything? You're on tour with Real Friends and Tiny Moving Parts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've been touring with Tiny Moving Parts and Real Friends. And we also wrote and Have Mercy, yeah. And we went to the UK and Have Mercy and Nothing Nowhere are there, even though they couldn't make it tonight. Yeah. And um, we got like two weeks left. We're about to release a record. We just released three singles. We went to the UK with WithCon. That was sick. That was a lot of fun, actually. Very cool. Very cool tour. We we didn't expect too too much from the UK, and the UK kind of blew our minds out of the water sure. with the support and the love. So blew our minds out, out of the water. Out of, blew our minds <laughs> out of the water. Yeah. Out of the water. Because our minds were in the water to, to begin with, and out we like to die. Out they go. We're, we're like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> go. Yeah. So uh, I mean. What was the first show there? What was the shock where somebody who did, may not have spoken okay. English clearly? Yeah, oh. over there where like people singing words, but they may not have uh, spoken your London, language. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, exactly. And we got there, and they were like, "Lately, all I want to do is fly around with you." And I was like, "We expected like the literal room went off. It was one of the best shows. Oh my like, god! Like, like we expected like ten people to like no, and, and they're like, like oh, like m- like." M- like and 90% of the room was like... Turned up, man. They were like stage we diving like, shit. Oh, damn. Hell, it was crazy. Yeah, man. I remember a girl was stage diving, and I was like, oh, I'm just going to see what it sounds like. She was like, all I want to do! I was like, <laughs> you sound different. <laughs> you sound different. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> usually, uh, you should save this question for later in the interviews, but I'll throw it out now since talking about the UK and stuff. Yeah. Um, since you guys have seen some of the world and the United States and stuff now, like, how, how has that uh, impacted you guys as people versus pre-touring life and all that? Uh, I'd say... Uh, it makes me like, it honestly makes me more excited to see yeah. even more places. Like, we we were so enthralled by like seeing the UK, like the different cultures there, the architecture, yeah. and the US is a beautiful place and an amazing place. But when we did the UK, we learned like, <laughs> wow, like there are like tons of tons of amazing beautiful places that we can go and see, and it, that definitely opened our eyes to that. You know, they have buildings so, uh, older than our fucking country. Yeah. Dang, yeah, I saw true. a man's tombstone <laughs> who out, outdated, outdated our constitution. Yeah. One morning we were like, oh, we're in a little quaint neighborhood, and it was like very suburban, what we would call suburban. And we were like, let's just walk around because we can't sleep because we were mad jet lagged. And there was a fucking graveyard with a castle two blocks away. So that's what yeah, we were dealing it with. It was awesome. Sorry to the dude in the, in the, under the under <laughs> Yeah, the sorry to the dead guy, but shout out to being so but old that, that you're was, older than my country. It was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Can I say bad words on this? Yeah, you can say whatever you Fucking want. Fucking yeah, rock! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys got Paradise coming out in a little bit. And uh, talk a little bit about the whole concept, the name Paradise and all that cool stuff. Okay, so Paradise, essentially, it's kind of a concept album without being a concept album because we have ADHD. Uh... <laughs> Like that. No, just like, nah, <laughs> that was well timed. Anyway, so, so, so basically, it's you know finding, relocating yourself if you desire that, finding the idea of what paradise is to you. It could be like two extra large French fries from Chick Fil A, or it could be, uh, you know, moving to California and becoming a super duper movie star, or it could be writing an album called Paradise. Whatever the album, whatever the idea of paradise is to you, that's what we wrote about. We write it. We wrote about a lot of different tap topics that are we're passionate about because we've had the opportunity to meet fans over this past year. And being on our level, we're able to chill with our people, talk to them without it being too over, overwhelming or anything like that. Because uh, we're on the up and up, so you know we wanted to write things about like women's rights, uh, uh, activism, just the idea of persevering and overcoming all the hatred and stuff in the world. And uh, so this album's really about about the people. We wanted to give them paradise if they can find it. Were there any uh, challenges writing about such serious topics with like poppy music behind it or anything? To be honest, no. Like that's one <laughs> thing we're really good at. Like we, it's our humor. Like we love to joke about all the god awful things in the world. Okay. There's actually a song on the album called "Who Cares," that will literally kind of follow that same uh, sort of formula. It's literally like, isn't it hilarious that I'm like five foot five and I don't have a dad? Yeah, Isn't that funny to you? Because you're tall. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like that's the kind of humor. Like, we, 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 joke about, about, we, we joke about the most like miserable and terrible things in our lives because like we love like we, we love laughing and we love like having fun yeah. and it's like if that's a way to like get over those yeah. really traumatizing things then like yeah I'll take it. Like we joke about like the worst things all the time, you know. And it's our way of getting over it. It's yeah. Fun. Yeah. Like fun. the best piece of advice I can give anyone with anxiety is if they're laughing, if you can make them laugh, that'll distract them. 
from whatever you got going on. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I try to aim for, you know. So it's uh never make them stop laughing, and if they do, run the fuck away. <laughs> I've seen that too. Very okay. Very okay. All right, so at this point and stuff, uh, you guys have released a you know handful of singles and stuff off that and stuff. So uh, was that part of the ADD you guys were talking about, just like pumping it out and stuff, like pumping out some songs, why like? Wait, you know, like why wait? <laughs> like this album's not supposed to be the album for 30 years. This album is now 2017. All the young people, us, you know, we want to write this. We're serious guys, but at the same time. We just wanted the people to have an album. They waited long enough, two hours, two years, two hours, two years, <laughs> and uh, who knows, we might drop another album the day after. Just kidding, we'd have any. <laughs> That'd be pretty dope, though. Blink-182 did it in a year, so basically, so. We're pretty much the same band. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, was there any reason for the three songs you guys have put out so far to, for like, this? I think, I think that, I think a lot of people, very, very much like us, like, kind of have ADHD in their own way, you know, like, people have really short attention spans, just like we do, and... You know, like, we know that we're, like, competing with a bunch of bands that are putting out, like, yeah. incredible stuff. Paramore being one, Neck Deep being another. Uh, yeah, Link put out a song. Out. Like, so many great bands and artists are putting out great music right now. And, you know, like, as much as we like to think we belong there, you know, we're, but, you know, we're still little and we're trying to, like, you know, climb our way to that area. So we're just like, you know what, yeah, just pump them out. You know, like, people have short attention spans, you know, like, just keep filling it yeah. because we love it, to be honest we love the entire record even like, like when we finished the record we we couldn't decide which ones to pick as singles as corny as that sounds it was just like it felt like every song we worked very 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 hard on so we didn't have any issue with like pumping out songs you okay. know because we think that it would really like speak for itself okay yeah. So you uh, touched on the stuff earlier and stuff, so what do you guys have coming up after this tour and stuff for the summer and fall and all that cool stuff, that's if you can good. talk about anything? That's a good-ass question. We're working on some stuff for sure. <laughs> I mean, if, it, if we lived in a perfect world, we'd be announcing a headliner tomorrow, but we're working on some stuff, you know. There's definitely going to be some more broadside appearances throughout. I mean, we are working on a few tours that we can't say, but... Uh, right. That headliner is eventually coming. Know it's, that. It's coming. Paradise <laughs> Tour is coming. We just got to <laughs> buy the boat and the helicopter first. And the then. The U.S. is a cool place. Other places are cool place. Yeah. And U.S. is cool place. Yeah. And other places are cool place. We'll see you at all those places. Okay. Yeah. As long as it's not a fire. We're actually going thing. to Japan. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, eventually. If you say it enough, it becomes real. Well, I heard that Japanese really love pop punk and stuff. So I mean, As they should, man. Because... Yeah. because I love the Japanese, so that would be dope. <laughs> there you go. All right, so I got a fun one for you, at, for you guys and stuff, and I'll let you guys go here. If your band could, uh, if Fearless Records brought back the Punk Go series and did a Punk Goes Disney album, which Disney song would you guys cover? All right, done. Uh, Phil Collins, Son of Man, or, uh, oh, let's just say the whole Tarzan soundtrack by Phil Collins. <laughs> that's that's, that's your next song. album, Paradise Double Disc, featuring uh, Tarzan, Tarzan covers. Tarzan soundtrack. <laughs> I would say, um, a di wait, a Disney song, right? Yeah. Uh, Oh man, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'd say like uh, "Let It Go." Okay. Is that wait? That's not Disney, is it? That's it is. Is that Dreamland? I, I think it is Disney. Yeah, it is Disney. Frozen. Yeah, that's a Disney. All right, cool, cool. Okay. What was it? Frozen? Let it go. Yeah, let it go. The pro. Yeah. yeah. So that's modern. All, that, no, that's all I could think of. Yeah. All right. Ah, uh, it's a Kenya opening theme, Under, Liking. Under yes. Under the Sea by Sebastian. Under the Sea, Sebastian featuring um, that beautiful woman named Ariel. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All, All right. the Disney, actually, there's not one bad Disney song. It's really not. All of them pretty Name, right, so. what's, what would you do? Um, I've always thought it'd be pretty cool to hear a pretty heavy or uh, pop punk cover of uh, "Can't Wait to Be King." So, oh my god, oh, that'd be that'd a be a good one. one. Yeah, that would be hard. And we, a lot of bands Literally. have also said Aladdin. They like the Aladdin song. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's so, easy. Whole new world. So, yeah, that's easy. Don't you dare! I feel like if I had to say, "Don't, don't you don't dare!" Close your eyes. I wouldn't be able to. Like, yeah. make the imagery as good as the That'd voice be, actor of that. Okay. All right. Can I hold that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> do, do a sign-off. Y'all do this. This is a sign-off right. right here. Y'all two do a sign-off. This is Ollie Baxter and Dorian Cook from Broadside VA, VA at, at the VA Internet. Dot and if you could, Twitter. please buy our fucking album. Please, we worked a lot hard on it. <laughs> dot com. I don't have a fucking dad, so I need you to buy this album. <laughs> 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 <laughs>